All right, so in this video, we're gonna start talking about the basics of nomenclature for organic compounds. Now, the nomenclature that we have done in the past, it's pretty simplistic. This uh, has a lot of rules to it. So there's a lot of rules and basically you have to follow these rules to ensure that you get the correct name and that whenever you have that name, you, it's correct so that the person knows exactly what you're talking about. Because with organic compounds, you can present those compounds in different ways. You can also, if you take the molecule itself, you take the Lewis structure and you flip it, you turn it, it looks like it's something different, but it's not necessarily something different. It has to go be different based on these rules for naming. And there's a lot of rules here. Okay, so IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Science. These are the people you can blame for you having to know all the rules, but essentially they came up with a very systematic way to name organic compounds. Okay, so IUPAC uses the size of the molecules, its functional group, and it's a very logical system. It just, it has a lot of rules. Okay, so we're gonna start with the very, very basics. Okay, now these are the organic stem names. It's very similar to you having to know the prefixes. So if we have, um, you know, prefixes for three, that would have been tri. But when we're talking about the organic stem names, we're gonna use prop. So there's meth, which is one. So that means there's one carbon in the longest chain. Uh, F means there's two carbons in the chain. Prop means there's three carbons in the chain. Bute means there's four, etc. You have to know these. You should not see anything past 10 on the IB papers, but uh, occasionally you'll see maybe one or two pop up in the homework that has 11 or maybe 12. But you do not need to know those for the test. All right, so methane, propane, octane. So let's go ahead and see what these compounds look like. So what's the formula for the compounds? So what we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna draw these out. Uh, now methane, meth means that there's one, there's one carbon. Well, I know that one carbon needs to have four bonds, so there should be four hydrogens here. So if I were just writing this out, this would just be CH4. And there is no skeletal structure for this. That would, that would not be appropriate. All right, propane. That means that there are three carbons in the chain. Okay, so now surround it by hydrogens. Okay, and then just connect your atoms. Okay, so if I just wanted to draw, you know, just write out the formula, and remember you can use that formula to give you how many hydrogens there are. So prop means there's three carbons. Okay, the formula is three multiplied by two, so that's six, plus another two. So that'd be eight. Okay, now octane, let's, instead of drawing out the Lewis structure, let's go ahead and do the skeletal structure. So remember, whenever we're doing the skeletal structure, we hide the hydrogens. So here's our first carbon two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be octane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every time you see that little, you know, the joint right here, that's a carbon. And then when you get to the end, that is also a carbon. We just hide the hydrogens. So again, if I wanted to know how many carbons and hydrogens, oct means eight. And then to get the number of hydrogens, eight times two, 16, plus another two, 18. Okay, so those are just basic uh, compounds. So if we're talking about the alkanes and we're looking at unbranched alkanes, it'd be methane, ethane, propane, etc. So let's look at the rest of the rules. Okay, so you need to know the stem names. Okay, you also need to know um, the root. So if we're talking about an alkane, all single single bonds, that's gonna be, it's gonna end with A-N-E. If there was a double bond or a triple bond, it would end with a different ending. So a uh, double bond means that it's e ending in E-N-E. -E. 
And then a triple bond means it ends in ine, Y-N-E. Okay, for a branched hydrocarbon, what you're going to do is you're going to find the longest continuous chain. So essentially what you're doing, let's say that I have a compound, looks like this. Okay, now I have branching on here, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your pencil down and you're gonna count through the chain and if you can get through it without picking up your pencil and that's the longest chain, then that, that's gonna be your stem. So, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I didn't pick up my pencil there, um, it was five. So let's go ahead and number, let's do it again from here. One, two, three, four, five. So it's still five. So you're gonna count with your pen or pencil and then do not pick up your pencil. Okay, so if you pick up your pencil, it's part of a branch. Okay, when alkanes are substituent groups, so substituent groups are branches. They're groups attached to the continuous chain. So they're, they're not part of the longest chain. You, if you'd, you would pick up your pencil essentially and then you would see it's not part of the longest chain. So if it's a branch, you're going to drop the A-N-E ending and it becomes IL, Y-L. So methane would be methyl group. Ethylene would be an ethyl group. Propane would be a propyl group. And we are going to do several examples of this. So now where those branches are on the longest chain, that has to be indicated in your name. So you actually have to number the carbons. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to give those substituent groups, so the branches, the lowest number possible. If you have lots of branches, you want the sum to end up being the lowest number possible. So for example, let's look at this. Okay, I'm gonna count the longest chain. So I'm gonna just count until I figure out what my longest chain is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try from here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then if I go in the other direction, it'd be the same thing. It would be either five if I end to here, or it'd be six if I end here. Okay, so this means my longest chain is six. Okay, so that's going to be hexane. Now I've got a branch coming off of that hexane. So that is going to be CH3. So that's a methyl group. So we have a methyl group on this. We have to indicate that we have a branch that's methyl. And then we also have to number it. So what you want is you want it to give it, give it the lowest number possible. So one, two, three, okay? If I number from this direction, it goes one, two, three. If I number from this direction, it goes one, two, three, four. Three is lower, so it would be three dash methyl hexane, no spaces. Uh, dashes are gonna be used to separate numbers and letters. Okay. Substituents, so the branches, you're gonna put them in alphabetical order. So let's say that you had a methyl and an ethyl. The ethyl would be first in the name. Okay, if you add a prefix, so let's say that you have two methyl groups, it becomes dimethyl, okay? And you are not going to use that as part of your alphabetical system. So it's still the methyl that matters here. So di would be for two, tri would be for three, tetra would be for four, and you have to indicate so you're not only gonna put a prefix on it, but you're also going to include the numbers. So let's say that they're both on two. Okay, you would say two comma two dash dimethyl. Okay, you're gonna number the carbons to make sure that everything has the lowest number possible. Okay, when you have two or more numbers, you're gonna separate them with commas. So dashes are used to separate letters from numbers 
Commas are going to be used to separate numbers from numbers. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's actually name some. Okay, so first thing, we're going to find the longest chain. That's the first step. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Okay, so now let's go down. One, two, three, four, five. It's also five that direction. Okay, let's try numbering from here. One, two, three, four, five. It's also five there. So no matter how I number this, it's going to be five for the longest chain. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's all five. So it has to be pentane at the end. An alkane, no double bonds, no triple bonds, so it ends in A-N-E. It has five for the longest chain, so pentane. Now let's find the branch. Okay, so now one, two, three, Okay, so I can say that this is a branch right here. Now, if you looked at it in a different, because it's all five, no matter where you go. So let's just say that, okay, I'm saying this is my branch. Well, this is one, two carbons, so that would be an ethyl. Okay. Now, let's say that I look at it in a different way. Let's say that I say one, two, three, four, five. That's my longest chain. Well, then again, this ends up being an ethyl still. So let's say that I go like this, one, two, three, four, five, and then that's my branch. It's still an ethyl. No matter how you go, it's still gonna be an ethyl group. So we have an ethyl. So ethyl pentane, no space there. Now we're gonna number it. We wanna give the ethyl group the lowest number possible. So let's say that I do this, so one, two, three. Okay, so that would be three. Um, and even if I numbered it differently, let's say that I go like this, one, two, three, four, five. So that would still be one, two, three. It's still three, no matter how you count this, it's still gonna end up being three. So it's three ethyl pentane. And remember, dashes are gonna be used to separate numbers from letters. Now let's look at this. Okay, find the longest chain first. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just check that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's nine. Okay, let's try numbering like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, nine is still the longest. Um, if I go from here, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is gonna be my longest chain, so that's gonna be non, all single bonds, so ain. Okay, so now my longest chain goes from here to here. So this means this is part of a branch, this is a branch, and then this is a branch. So those are my branches. So right here I've got one, two carbons, that's gonna be an ethyl. Okay, and right here I've actually got, this is a branch, this is a separate branch, there are two branches here. So that means I have uh, two methyls, because I have each one carbon. There's two of them, so I have to include a prefix, so it's gonna be di. Okay, now I have to number them to give it the lowest number possible. So I can number from this what direction to this direction, or I can number in the opposite direction, so starting here. So let's start from here first. One, two. So now I would be two, two, because there's two methyls. You have to include a number for each one. Three, four, five. Okay, let's number from the other direction and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight, eight. Well, two, two, five would be our, my lowest number set. So that, that, those are gonna be my numbering. So two, two, five. So it's gonna be, now, now we've got two different groups. We've got ethyl and methyl. 
which one comes first in the alphabet? E. E versus M, not the D. So E is ethyl. Okay, there's a five, that's the number. So five dash ethyl. Dashes separate numbers and letters. So dash, because we separate the numbers from the letters. And then the position from these would be two, two. So two comma two, commas are used to separate numbers. Dash, dimethyl. Noname, no space. All right, now let's look at the next one. The next one can actually be named two different things, but I'm gonna show you the, the way that I would like you to name it. Okay, so first thing, find your longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six. So let's number from up here. Really doesn't matter if you start from here or here. One, two, three, four, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it, that would be six also. Now, so six is gonna be my longest chain, but where, what's my branch? Because there's actually two different ways to look at it. So you could say this, that would be a branch, but that looks funny. Um, this is actually called something very specific that IV does not require you to know. It's called isopropyl. Or if we look at it from the other direction, still six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be a branch and that would be a branch. And that looks a little bit more familiar. So now our longest chain is six, so hex, hexane. Okay, now we've got a methyl, and we've got an ethyl. All right, now we number them. So let's say that we start from here, one, two, three, four, five, or we can start from up here. That would be one, two, three. So which one is lower? Two and three would be lower. All right, which one comes first? Well according to the alphabet, E. So it's gonna be three dash ethyl dash two dash methyl hexane. All right, now let's look at the next one. Okay, find your longest chain. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, if I number from here, I don't think that's gonna change much. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, so it's still five. Okay, so now we've got pent. Oh, pentane. All right, so now we've got pentane. We've got, let's say that we look at it from this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this would be a branch. 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 This is still part of the chain. So we've got one, two, three, four of the same group, and they're all methyls. So four would be tetra. Methyl. All right, so now we're gonna number them. So if we start from here, we get one, two, two, three, three. If we start from the other direction, we get one, two, three, three, four, four. So two, two, and three, three would be the lowest. So it would be two, comma, yes, two, comma, three, comma, three, dash. So, oh, not four, sorry, three, three. Okay, so commas are used to separate all the numbers, dashes are used to say, separate numbers from letters. All right, so now let's name these because you're gonna see a lot of these on the IV test. So right here, uh, it looks like it's just a straight chain. So one, two, three, four, five. 
five would be pent. All single bonds, so just pentane. All right, so this one has branching. We've got parentheses in there, so I like to draw it out. Um, and let's just draw the skeletal structure. So one CH3, this carbon is gonna be bonding to one hydrogen, but it's also bonding to a CH3. Then we've got another carbon, okay, which is gonna be bonding to two CH3 groups. So one going up, one going down, and then CH3. If you want, I can also draw it the other way. So CH3, like whatever way helps you the best, draw it that way. CH3, da, 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 da. carbon. and then CH3. Now, uh, they could have also done CH3 times th to the third here. Okay, so now let's look at this. So let's find our longest chain. We got one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be four. So it's but, butane. All right, then we have, let's see. We have a methyl group here. We have a methyl group here and here. So we have three methyl groups, so it's trimethyl. And then we have, uh, we have to number them, so let's start from here. One, two, two, three. If I number from the other direction, it would be one, two, three, three. So we're gonna go with the two, two, three. The sum should be the lowest number possible. So two, comma, two, comma, three dash trimethyl butane. All right, so um, now we have names and we are going to draw them out. It's actually easier to do this. So we have octane. So let's go ahead and draw our longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we go to the fourth, um, fourth carbon, one, two, three, four. We have an ethyl, one, two, like that. And then if you wanna check yourself, you can always go through and then um, actually name it again. You should get four ethyl octane. All right, so the next one is pentane. So draw your longest. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have two methyls. So we go to the third one. One, two, three. There's a methyl. There's a methyl. 